feeling blue. Ta-da! This is a 1974, somewhere around there, Held Trail Bronc, if I remember correctly. Yep, Held Trail Bronc, made by Carl Held Company, or Held Company, whatever it is. And I just recently picked this one up here eh, a few weeks ago. Picked up about a week after I crashed the micro. And it's a smaller bike. It's about the size of the Gilson. A little bit smaller than the Hilltopper. It has a HS50 Tecumseh. And overall, this thing is in great condition. But she needs a little work. The carburetor is not good. I got it to run using a little bit of spray and it'll run for well pr actually pretty much idle all day long but the second you give it any throttle <clears throat> dies. So I'm willing to bet that we're gonna open up that carb flopper and it's just gonna be all dirty. There's evidence that people have been in there. You can see the clamp is moved. That's not even on all the way. So I'm just going to do a good once over on this. We're going to clean the carb, get it running, and uh, hopefully do a hot pass up and down the street and not crash and have to go to the hospital and get another $40,000 in medical bills. So, without further ado, ooh, nice and soft. Anyway, yeah, focus. Without further ado, let's tear this thing apart, get that carburetor. So, it looks like somebody may have tried cleaning that carb once before. The bottom of the bowl is all pushed in. Oh, there we go in frame. But fresh brass, so that's a rebuild kit. Looks like they put it in with a vice grips. That's always lovely. The gas that's coming out is yellow. That's not good either. Mm, yeah. <laughs> Look at that float. Uh, so there's all sorts of sediment in there. That's always great. That bowl is junk. That float. <laughs> and want to guess if it's had water in it before? Oh my. Look at that. So we're going to start over with yet another carburetor. Yeah, this is exactly what I wanted to do on a Friday night. Yeah. Hey, it's either this or I was going to be at the bar to be honest. So, whatever. Gives me something to do. Pretty much picked the best parts out of the two. Uh, sadly, the original choke is actually pretty worn out, so it actually had quite a bit of wobble in there. And also, because the original throttle body was shot, I tried removing the spring, did not work. 
This spring was in a different location. Although granted it has a hole for a spring, I don't have any of those in stock. So I just did the lazy thing and left this handle on which will not interfere with the current air filter so that should work. Float's been cleaned, leveled, all new gaskets, set roughly to a base level of settings and reuse the original gasket in there. This looks like it's sealed up pretty good, torqued it down. So let's throw it on the bike, see what happens. That's the kill switch up here, just a push button, momentary switch. Let's see what happens. Enough. Whew, head rush. Alrighty, so I gotta do a little bit of carb stuff. I got it to run with a sniff of ether and it ran terrible. I got my carb settings way off. So what I'm gonna do here is uh, in this video for the moment, I'll see you guys in the morning. Sounds pretty good. And that's the piece together carb. Still not leaking any gas. Got it dialed in to the point where I can at least work with it a little bit. So I think it's good enough to put the air cleaner back on. Then I gotta fix these clutches. I think this one the spring came undone where it's damaged. This that's not right. And then this one, the usual faceplate is worn up. Luckily I have some of those to old stock as well as the center pieces. I'll have a run and a riding tonight. We're getting there. 